mega forest and you see these things. Yeah. But you see. Yeah. Um, but I want to show you the eggs and the caterpillars and the pupae of this thing. pulling out its tongue yet, is it? Um, because that's why we put the banana bait there. This is just a quick box. thing as I'm saying to you takes three or four months for them to come through. So I've always learned about nature since I've been a very small boy. We spent the first 28 years of our lives uh, up in Mount Elgon but I've been working on butterflies since I was five and um, it got really quite serious from about the age of nine. This collection here is the biggest collection of African butterflies in the world. It's 1.2 million pin butterflies and 3 million, which is very difficult to understand in terms of size. It's huge. Um, we've shown you about the big, the big butterflies. I'm going to show you some of the biggest ones in a minute. I want to show you the as well. Yes. This is so in the dry area, you can see, we have an interesting thing here. So I look at the same thing I want to show you from North Africa. Wow. So there we are. This, so this was a new butterfly for science. When we were describing it, we were comparing these from the different populations. Otherwise, it's gone. It's about one in a hundred, so that's three or four million butterflies. That and a lot of these are being bred through from different places. From Uganda, etc, etc. Where's from there? Which one? So the Which uh, three eggs they collected in the Osambara mountains, they produce three different types. But these are pretty fragile because this particular butterfly is the only... Although we've bred those from caterpillars, uh, from eggs. Nobody has ever seen this butterfly in the wild, ever. But we have about 95% of all the butterflies that have ever been found in Africa, including many that we have described new to science, several hundred that have come in. Mountains in Mozambique. And this is. Oh, okay. For us, for the future, is to get some financial support, to get the biodiversity going, and to actually find a safe home for this when uh, Collins is no longer here. And the little ones, and sunset moths, and these are very old primitive moths. This is the biggest butterfly in Africa. The giant swallowtail, Papilio antimarchus, it was originally described from Sierra Leone. This will be pollinated by an uh, insect, probably a hawk moth, and there it is. So about 150 years later, they found the hawk moth that pollinated the orchid. And the orchids... Conditions for the caterpillar to develop are more humid or more dry. They come out to these different colors. The same poisonous for birds or lizards. So if you look like this, and three or four hundred of these things. 